Hey guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and in this tutorial I'll be talking about arithmetic operators. Now what are arithmetic operators? Well, I'm going to show you guys an example of a uh, table here with some arithmetic operators. I went to dartland.org to get this table. Here we have the plus sign which adds two values. I'll show you guys an example of that right now. Here I initialized a variable which I called blue add. And uh, blue add is equal to uh, 1 plus 2. This is the arithmetic operator here. So under that, we have this print method here. And this is going to print the value of blue add, which should be 3. Let's test it out. As you can see, it worked. The value is 3. Now let's test another arithmetic operator. Let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, minus arithmetic operator, which is subtract. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a minus. I'm going to hit save. And let's plus play. It should be 1 if it worked. As you can see, it's 1. Now let's try another one. Let's try multiplication, this star symbol here. I'm going to replace the minus here with the star symbol. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to press play. It should be 2. As you can see, it worked. All right, now let's try another operator. Now, we're going to try the divide, which is a forward slash. When using the divide, the results are saved in with a decimal point. So it's going to be a double. So the first thing you're going to need to do is change int into double. Then I'm going to change the value of this to a 6 and the value of this to a... Actually, let's make this a 5 and let's keep this a 2. And I'm going to change this operator to a forward slash, which is the divide. Let's hit save and hit play. As you can see, it worked. The results printed a double, which is a 2.5, and that's the correct answer. Okay, now let's try another operator. All right, now we're going to try the this uh, divide returning an integer result. It's basically this curly symbol here with a forward slash. What this is going to do, it's going to divide two values and return only an integer result, not a double. So it's not going to have a decimal point. Let's test that out right now. So I can uh, change this back to an int. I'm just going to add a curly symbol here to this forward slash. And uh, I'm going to change this from a 5 to a 10. I'm going to hit save. And it, uh, it should print out 5 with, uh, with no decimal point if it works. Let's try it out. As you can see, it worked. We got the value 5, integer value 5. Now let's try, let's try a new operator. The final one here is this percentage symbol here, which gives you the remainder of an integer division, not, not the actual division, just the remainder. Now let's, let's try that out right now. So I'm going to replace this with a percent symbol. And I need a value, I need two values that are going to give me a remainder. So let's try five and two which would have a remainder of 1. Let's test it out. I'm going to hit save. Now let's hit play. And that's correct. The value is 1. All right, now let's talk about incrementing and decrementing operators. Let's start with the first one here, this double plus symbol and the variable. What this is going to do is increment the variable by plus 1. Let's test that out here. Initialize the variable, which I called red add, and I gave it the value of 0. Now, under here, I initialized the variable, which I called blue add, and I gave it the value of the variable red add, but with these two plus symbols, which increments the value by one. So bind the two values together, which should be one. And this uh, print method will print out the value. Let's test it out right now. I'm going to hit play. And as you can see, it worked. The value is one. Now let's try this one here, which is incrementing after the variable gets its value. Let's test that out right now. So I'm just going to delete these two from here. And I'm going to add them to the back of the variable. And 
and I'm going to ch change this first equal sign down here to this exclamation point. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit play. And the value is zero. That's correct. Now, all right, now let's try another operator. We're going to try the decrementing before the variable gets its value. That's using these two negative or two minus symbols here. Let's try that right now. I'm just going to keep everything the same. All that the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these two add symbols here. And I'm going to add the two negative or two minus symbols in front of the variable here. And I'm going to change the value of this to a 2. I'm going to uh, delete this exclamation point and make this an equal, another equal symbol here. And then I'm going to hit save, then run. As you can see, the value is 1 because they decremented the value of red add by 1. 2 take away 1 is 1, and the value is 1. All right, let's try the final operator here. It's uh, this one right here. It's uh, the variable with the two minus symbols after the variable. What this is doing is uh, decrementing the variable, first variable, after the second variable gets the value. Let's test that out right here. So I'm going to delete these two uh, symbols here and add them to the back of the variable. I'm going to change, delete this first equal symbol and make it a exclamation point again. I'm going to hit save and hit play. As you can see, it worked. The value is 2. All right, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if it was helpful, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave me questions. I'm Rostam from RostamerTech.com and thanks for watching.